Hello all, um, it's Preferred 11 time, this is the Preferred 11 for this Saturday's game against Middlesbrough and I think in the context of our season now this is quite a big game. As we all know we got absolutely spanked the other day by Spurs, generally this season we're getting battered by the top teams and if you look at our remaining fixtures we've got some really, really, really difficult fixtures remaining. We've got Chelsea still, Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal and if we continue to play in these games as we have done so far will be, well, very, very lucky to get any points at all. Now, I'm not saying we're going to be in a relegation battle. I don't think we will going to go, are going to go down, rather. But I do think that the games against teams like Middlesbrough at home and Hull at home are kind of like must-wins now because I don't see us picking up too many more points the rest of the season. The performance against Spurs was, for my money, the worst performance of the season. It was an absolute disgraceful performance. And coming off the back of that holiday um, in the Middle East, it just reflected even worse for the players. Um, and I do feel sorry for Peter Coates. He must have spent upwards of a hundred grand on that trip. I imagine they went to all their first class, they stayed in the best accommodation, had the best activities paid for, and all the rest of it. It was really, truly a shocking, shocking performance. Things need to change against Middlesbrough. Right, so my first level for the Middlesbrough game is Grant in net, a centre back pairing of Shawcross and Indy. Full-backs, I'm going to go with Bardsley and Peters. Um, just in front of the defence, I'm going to go with Glenn Whelan. I'm going to drop Charlie Adam. Again, he's he's not played too badly recently. Everyone was poor against Spurs, so I don't want to single him out. But he was, I think, slightly poorer than some of us against Spurs. And if nothing else, I really, really want to get Afli back in the first 11. I've been saying it for several weeks now. I think... Consistently, he's probably our best player. I really, really think that. I think Affleck is such a good player. And bar that performance on the wing against West Brom, which isn't his position anymore, he's played really well since coming back. So I don't know why he's all of a sudden been dropped. Charlie Adam, like I say, he's been okay. But if Affleck is fit and available, he has to start. So in front of the defence, Glenn Whelan and Affleck. Moving for, further forward, I'm actually going to drop Joe Allen. And when I say drop, I don't want to be too harsh. I mean rest, and I, I really do mean rest. Sometimes people can say rest as an excuse to drop a player. In Joe Allen's case, I really think he looks absolutely shattered. And I don't blame him. He's been he's ran his bollocks off all season, every single game. He's charging around midfield, trying to press the play. And I think he really, really just needs a few games to, to recuperate. Um, he, he seems to be struggling at the moment. He's not really retaining possession. And what I'm going to do instead is something a little bit different. And I think now bojan has gone, and if Joe Allen's not playing, I think Shakiri just behind the striker, is what we need to try. We've seen him there a few times, and whenever he's played there, that's where he thrives. When he came into Stoke, he was just... It was naturally assumed he will be on the wing, but we know that he's played quite a lot for Switzerland behind the front striker. I do think that's probably strong his position, so I'm keen to give that a go against Middlesbrough. Up front three, I'm going to go with Arnie and Sobey on the wings. Sobey was our best player against Tottenham. I mean, it's hard to pick one, but it probably was him. And, and Strains, they're 40. He probably defended the best. He tracked back. He's very mature for his age. Then up front, I'm going to go with Berahino. It's about time he started now. Crouch has been in great form, I don't want to knock him, but Berahino, we spent a lot of money on him. We know what he can potentially do. It's about time that he came into the team and started doing it. So there we go, to recap, Grant in net, Shawcross Indy, Peters Bardsley, just in front of them, Whelan and Afalai. Further forward, Shakiri just behind the front three. Then up front, I'm going to have uh, Anantovic, Sobi and Berahino. Let me know what you reckon to my first 11. Would you give Shaq a go there? Would you keep Joe Allen in? Um, who, would you, who, would, who needs dropping the most? Who had the poorest performance against Spurs? Give the video a like, comment and all the rest of it. And we'll see you on Saturday for the game against Middlesbrough.